The 2015 BMW 640i Grand Coupe is known as an aura of excellence. The BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe is a groundbreaking fusion of athletic elegance, sophisticated technology, unparalleled comfort, and superior performance. Setting the benchmark for aesthetic and dynamics, the result is nothing short of breathtaking. Stability and agility are two cornerstones of the BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe character. Whether you're accelerating into a turn, changing lanes at highway speeds, or simply parking, the integral active steering feature makes handling even easier while increasing stability. Driving Dynamics Control lets you tailor your driving experience. Switch to Sport or Sport Plus mode for a more dynamic performance. Comfort or Comfort Plus mode for a more cushioned ride and Eco Pro for optimized fuel consumption. Combine that with the increased control and comfort of adaptive drive with active road stabilization and you're sure of maximum driving pleasure. So here's the remote control for the car. On the remote, we have the unlock button, lock button, trunk release, and the panic button. As requested by one of my subscribers last time to demonstrate the panic button, how you have, what you have to do to activate the panic button is simply hold it down for a few seconds. After that, it will alarm. Here it is. And to turn it off, you simply press the panic button one more time to turn it off. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock the core and take a closer look at the interior. The 2015 640i Grand Coupe does come with smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do really do is stand next to the door with the remote and to lock the car you can simply touch on the outer side right here and to unlock the car simply put your hand behind the handle the 640i have frameless doors which you see the window automatic go down and only fully shut after you let it go or come with also come with the soft closing doors also as you can see right there here's a quick look of the interior interior is all leather and the name of the leather is called black Dakota leather let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat now to start the engine all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right here and the engine is on let's go ahead and give it a few revs and let you guys listen to the exhaust pipe Now for a closer look under the hood. To open the hood, there's going to be a metal piece right here. All you have to do is lift it up and raise the hood. Under the 2015 BMW 640i Grand Coupe M Sport Edition, we have a 3.0 liter inline 6-cylinder engine with twin power turbo technology rear-wheel drive with high precision direct injection. The 3.0 liter 6-cylinder engine can push out approximately 315 horsepower. The time it takes to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour is just 5.4 seconds and its top speed is 130 miles per hour. Fuel economy wise, the 2015 BMW 640i Grand Coupe gets 20 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined. Now for a closer look at the front. This specific model right here includes the M Sport package which comes with the aerodynamic front bumper kit and rear bumper kit. On the front we have full adaptive LED lights with LED fog lights and I forgot to mention the color we're looking at right now it's called Alpine White. In the middle we have the BMW badge along with the iconic BMW double kidney grille. Front bumper also have built-in parking sensors which automatically notify the drivers when we get too close to hitting something. Moving over to the side, the side view mirror does have built in auto dimming which means it automatically dims when the light behind us is too bright. Let's 
640i side fenders, have built-in integrated turn LED turn signal, corner lights. On this specific model, again, it comes with the M Sport package, which means it has 20-inch wheels with performance tires. Behind the five double spoke wheels, we have four wheel ventilated anti-lock disc brakes with dynamic brake control. We also have dynamic stability control including brake force compensation, stored off assistant, brake drying, and brake standby features with dynamic traction control. As for the rear, we have the LED brake lights, LED turn signal, and LED corner lights. Bumper also have built-in parking sensor which again automatically notifies the driver when the car gets too close to hitting something. And another nice built-in feature includes the rear view camera which automatically displays the rear view on the GPS display when the car is put into reverse. As you can see the rear diffuser blends in very well with the exhaust pipe. As for the gas tank all you have to do is make sure the car is unlocked and push in and lift out the tank. As simple as that. Alright, and we're back on the inside. Steering wheel is all leather. Feels very comfortable and nice. Steering wheel is three spokes. On the left side here, we have the adaptive cruise control. Which you can turn on by simply pressing that button. You also see a clock which pop on the screen here when the cruise control is on. There it is. In the middle we have the BMW logo. To the right side we have the voice command with the volume up, down and answering phone option. With the different audio modes control you can simply lift that up or down to change the different uh, channels. Behind the wheel we have a standard shift paddle, one on the right and one on the left. Right behind that we have the windshield wiper control. Simply lift it up or down to increase the speed. Pull it towards you to release the windshield washer and press a button on the end to leave the windshield wiper on automatic. That's to control the intensity of the windshield wiper. Moving over to the left, we have another standard shift paddle over here. And behind it, you have the right and left turn signal. Up for right, down for left, and pull it towards you for the high beam. And the button on the end here. You can select uh, from the different trip odometer, which is going to be displayed right there in between. Over here we have the AC and heat vents with the fog light control and headlamps control. Odometer dimmer. And this button right here is used to control the display that goes on the front windshield. Let me try to focus it for you. As you can see this number right here shows you the mile per hour that you're going. And you can turn it on and off by simply pressing that button. It's blinking right now but in reality it does not blink. Here's a closer look at the odometer. Driver sun visor with a credit cord holder small piece of mirror and the light above which automatically turns on and off according to the open and closeness of the mirror. Here's the GPS display. Very nice size screen. Two AC and heat vents with the lock and unlock button in the middle along with the emergency lights button. Here's a closer view of the GPS map audio CD player. Press that to turn it on or off. Dual AC and heat climate control for both passenger and driver. Heated seats also. Now let's see what we have here. As you can see we have two more cup holder right under here. Here's the gear shift box. And to use the gear shift box, you have to push your foot down on the brake first. After that, press the unlock button on the left side. 
and push it up to put it into reverse and when you do that the rear view mirror camera excuse me automatically display on the GPS screen here as you can see which is a very nice safety feature and to put it into drive simply push it all the way down and push it over to the left for standard manual mode and after that simply push up or down to change the gears or you can simply use the gear shift paddle on the steering wheel and as you can see right here if as I try to push it up into reverse it will not allow me to because I have to press the unlock button in order to put the car into reverse which is also another very nice safety feature and to park simply press P right below it we have the parking brake lift it up to turn it on red light means it's on also have a red notice right there to turn it off simply push it down parking assist green light means it's on up here we have the traction control with two buttons right below it to control the different driving modes and right here I like to show you a very nice display on the odometer when you put the car into different driving modes the odometer color changes and displayed very differently as you can see right here as I go up from eco to comfort to sport or sport plus all the display are different which looks very nice and cool as you go down you get a lot more mileage but less power as you go to sport mode you get more power with less mileage here's the universal control for the GPS and audio display system you can press it down to select you can twist it to the right or left to zoom in and out on the map also on top we have the different uh, selection for you to select which option you're going to want to display on the GPS system let me go ahead and show you the zoom in and out function on the GPS twist to the left to zoom out and twist to the right to zoom in And right here we have an ashtray with a 12 volt AC outlet charger in the middle armrest compartment all right and here we have a trunk lock button if you switch it over to the lock you'll not be able to open the trunk from the inside right here we have an auxiliary input along with a USB input and another 12 volt AC outlet charger glove box compartment here's a closer look at the dash rear view mirror also have built in universal garage door opener you can simply input your garage door codes and use these buttons to open and close your garage doors moving up we have all the different light controls along with the sunroof control SOS is for roadside assistant press that you automatically be transferred to roadside assistant and this is to control the sunroof here it is let's go ahead and open it And I'll go ahead and go outside and show you how it looks from the outside. All right, here's the exterior view of the sunroof. Looks pretty cool and sporty overall. driver side door have built in speakers four power and window control with the window lock and sunshade button side view mirror control on top here and the button on the side is to fold and unfold the side view mirror press once to fold and press it again to unfold and let me go ahead and demonstrate the sunshade cover button right here as you can see in the back we have sunshade cover on both window 
In the rear windshield, this button controls all the sunshade covers. M Sport door seal, which can be found on both driver and passenger side. Gas and brake pedals. Over here, we have the uh, trunk release button on top and the hood lever. Simply lift that out to open the hood and open it as I showed you earlier. Multiple control for the seats. You can move it forward, backward, up, down, and you can store up to two easy memory for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. We also have lumbar support. Both driver and passenger seats are ventilated, which can be controlled with heat. Over here, I forgot to show you this little knob. This small knob right here controls the steering wheel placement. You can move the steering wheel up, down, towards you, or away from you. Now let's go ahead and go into the back seat. And you can also lock the door and unlock the door from all four doors, including the back door here. Let me go ahead and show you the soft close door function. There it is, very nice. Quick view of the back seat. On the door, we have power window control, power sunshade control for the right and the left, and the rear sunshade. And this is control the rear. Looks pretty cool. Small spot for you to put change. Side door compartment. Let's go ahead and jump in now. Again, I'm five foot seven, so this gives you a little better idea of how much leg space I have. I feel very comfortable back here. Quick look of the front from sitting in the back. Looks very luxurious and nice. Two more AC and heat vents, and complete dual AC heat climate control for the back passenger. The middle armrest compartment here. Lift this up, and you have more storage space. And two additional cup holders. And the seat belt looks very nice in contrast with the leather. Seat belt's very smooth. On top, we have different light control, which are movable in all four directions. On both the right and the left, we have a spot for you to hang things such as your clothes. All right, and we're back outside. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk and see what's in there. Trunk is very spacious. And there we have a whole bunch of uh, trunk mats. And if you ever need more space, you can simply fold both seats by lifting these out. Under here we have more storage space along with the core battery. And if you ever get yourself locked in the trunk, you can simply pull this down to unlock yourself. And this button, which means you can lock the door from the back trunk, which is pretty convenient. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, if you have any questions or comment about my core reviews, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And if for more future core reviews, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give our videos a thumbs up. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.